Welcome to Sweetbriar Farm. We wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Nigerian dwarf goats and um, why we have them on our farm. Uh, Nigerian dwarfs are, like their name implies, a breed from Africa. They were imported to the U.S. in the early 1900s and um, they've become increasingly popular in recent history um, because more people are, are interested in producing their own milk. So uh, Nigerian dwarves are great for family backyard milkers because they're small, they're feed efficient, um, and they're excellent milk producers. So a Nigerian dwarf like Holly here can produce, or should produce, we, she hasn't freshened yet, she's too young, she's just a baby yet, but Nigerian dwarves can make as much as two quarts of milk a day, which is quite a lot, especially you know, you have to have at least two goats because they have to run in herds. Um, so they make a lot of milk for their size and their milk is awesome for cheese making because it's got almost double the butter fat content of most dairy goats and 50% um, more than Nubian. So they run around 6% butter fat, which is great for making cheese or yogurt or if you just like super creamy, delicious milk. Um, Nigerian dwarves are your goat. One of the things about Nigerian dwarves that makes them so popular is their small size. So they eat less um, and still make a good quantity of milk. They're also, um, their smaller body size is more attractive for people who are new to livestock because um, they're easier to manage. So they should be, what I think, does should be no more than 17 inches tall at the hip. Bucks can be a couple inches taller than that, but they stay small. And they're also known for having large litter sizes. It's not unusual for a Nigerian dwarf to have triplets. I think the world record is, yeah, there was a goat, a blue cactus dairy, right? That had um, octuplets and set the record. So they're, they're prolific breeders and they make excellent high quality milk. So Phyllis here, is our Nigerian dwarf doe. She is bred to, to another Nigerian dwarf buck with lots of cool colors. Um, and we're expecting kids from her in April. So that'll be our first chance to try Nigerian dwarf milk. Uh, crosses with Nigerian dwarfs have also become very popular. Uh, and there's a whole registry for Nigerian dwarfs and their crosses called the Miniature Dairy Goat Association. So you can register Nigerian dwarfs there, as well as Nigerian dwarfs crossed with all the other dairy breeds. So Meili has her own herd name there with Starlar Mini Nubian. So that's a line of goats where a Nubian is bred, a Nubian doe to a Nigerian dwarf buck. So you get smaller goats that make almost as much milk on less feed. I think what we like most about our Nigerian dwarfs is their personalities. They've got a lot of character and affection packed into their tiny little bodies. Yeah. Phyllis is very standoffish and has an attitude. She's got the biggest Nigerian dwarves? <laughs>